Alright guys, um, so I just got a little sort of a project update on the LX176 with the, uh, now with the Briggs 17 horsepower, uh, opposed twin. Uh, I've had to do a lot of things since it, you last saw it on, uh, YouTube. And, uh, the first was I had to rethread the crankshaft because, uh, you know, the jackass before me, uh, stripped out the threads. So, obviously I could really only go up. I did actually try to re-tap them, but it didn't help. Uh, just rolled them right back over. So, I drilled it out, uh, 7 sixteenths, which is actually not the right size, but I'm just saying. Uh, and then re-tapped it to half 13, half inch diameter 13 TPI for a standard, uh, half inch bolt. And, uh, I actually didn't use one of those cheese grade bolts you get out of the parts, or out of the, uh, regular bins at Home Depot or whatever, I used a grade 5 bolt, and it's about that long, so I had to cut it down. I don't, I honestly don't remember, I'd probably tell you guys if I did, um, I doubt anyone's trying to do the swap also, but, uh, anyway, so that's what I did, it works, uh, I just had to use two big flat washers to, um, to actually mount it, because originally there was a big, uh, heavy washer that went on there, uh, under the bolt, so it would, it would kind of get, pressed between the uh, PTO clutch and the bolt head. So that was kind of the biggest thing. I wasn't, I stopped doing everything else whenever I had to do that because I just wasn't sure. So it, it works fine. Uh, I don't know if I got this on YouTube when I had it running. About a week ago, we got it running. Me and my friend got it running pretty good. Uh, we found the, the previous owner, um, double gasketed this so it was getting a vacuum leak it wasn't even the right gasket it was for like it was like the intake gasket on a like a Briggs Quantum or something and it was choking off this so uh we fixed that replaced the the crappy bolts with those it's uh nice and solid now it doesn't wiggle um I rebuilt the car I I changed all the parts in the fuel pump um I cleaned out that of course like five times and, uh, replaced this gasket and all these gaskets because they're all leaking. Uh, this one wasn't, but the one of these on the bottom were. Uh, and I also replaced the needle, but I didn't replace the seat because the carb kit came with a little drum. It's about that long, and it, that's where the, the needle goes. But there's no way to, like, get it out of the carburetor, so I don't know how I was supposed to change it. So I didn't. But it seem, seems to be fine there. And uh, even then, I still can't get this thing to run right. Um, if I run it, I have to run it on open open choke, which is good. Uh, so, no choke, basically. Um, it seems like it's getting way too much fuel, and I don't know if it's something with this pump. Maybe I, maybe I messed something up, I don't know. But uh, I've been trying to test it with no throttle linkage at all, so I, I thought that would help, but it might also not. This is kind of my solution for using the original throttle cable. Uh, it's not done. <laughs> As you can see, this was riveted, but it didn't hold, so uh, I'm just going to weld that. And then uh, this rod will go to here, and this is kind of your throttle right here. So as you can see, there's a ton of flex, in it, so I don't even know if it's going to work. Uh, this got, it's got to get fastened down, like, right here or something. Uh, once I figure that out, I think I'll have a solid throttle, and it'll be the original. Then I just have to hook up this choke right here, uh, you know, for this. And, uh, there's a little hold down right here. It, it takes this screw and washer, but I don't have another one. I'm just gonna have to find one, I guess. And, uh, on, in terms of, like, modification, that's really all I have done is, uh, Rethreaded the crankshaft um, that I can think of in terms of wiring. Uh, what I've had to do is uh, this takes a just this, I don't know what you call those connectors for the uh, kill wire. This is just a I'll show you what I used for that. Um, it's actually just let's see. Oh, here we go. You can buy these. I don't know if they're for like a trailer or whatever, or just trailer lighting. But uh, it comes as like a three foot extension or something like that. So I just cut it in half, and uh, I haven't wired it up because I don't know the polarity yet. 
I haven't even got the thing running right, so I'm not too worried about it. But that's going to be the charging for the for starting it, though. Uh, the Kawasaki had its own built-on solenoid. You can kind of see the terminal for it. So starters over there. That goes to the solenoid. I mean, if you're if you're familiar with, familiar with how one of these are set up, then it's no big deal. Uh, this is your hot from your your positive from your battery. Then that goes. This other big terminal goes to the starter. And this I actually was able to keep. This connector right here came off the tractor for the other one. And then uh, where's it? Yeah, there's the other one. That clear connector goes right there. It's for the ground, and it works just fine that way. I will have to mount it somewhere though. And extend some wires. Uh, it's just not safe right there. That yeah, looks bad. Uh, these two white wires are for the headlights, but my new hood over there doesn't have headlights, so I'm not going to be using those. Uh, the LX176 hood is over there. Uh, you can probably see it way back there. Uh, it has headlights, but I replaced it with a uh, 165 hood, which doesn't have headlights, so um, I'll probably make another video on that when I get this all done, you know. Uh, how the uh, how I fitted the 165 hood onto this LX176. It sort of fits okay, uh, but it's not perfect. So I'll make an update video on that when I get all this done. And uh, probably the next video you guys will see will be this thing actually running and driving, which it was last week. And then, oh yeah, obviously the most important reason I'm making this video, uh, the sump gasket started leaking on me last week. That's why this is all a problem. You're probably thinking... Well, if this is running right, why is this a problem now? Well, I rebuilt the carb right after that, and then I replaced that sump gasket because it started splooging oil everywhere on me, all over my driveway. So uh, I guess it uh, it finally blew out uh, from age or something, and uh, basically all the oil I had to add to it just drained right back out. So uh, it's been sitting here for all night, about, let's see, about... 16 hours now 17 hours and it has no leaks uh the crankshaft uh looks okay doesn't seem to be any oil on the seal or you know beyond the seal i was worried about the oil seal on the crankshaft because i didn't replace it but uh it looks like that was actually okay to do that so anyway uh i think i gotta sneeze um anyway this is my fuel line right now it's just <laughs> yeah don't do that if you're if you're just testing, it's probably fine, but I'm definitely going to change that. I just haven't really found out because this tractor was designed for that motor where the fuel comes into the back of the carb. Well, the fuel from the tank comes into that pump right there. And so you don't really have to have a bunch of fuel line going across the engine. And the carb is on the side, like right here on the original. So, And all the linkages are sideways basically now, so i gotta, um, I got to run stuff a certain way. Um, I did already buy a universal throttle cable, like actually two different ones. I lost one and the other one is like at least six feet long. It's it's about as long as that thing is. And uh, I found that I was going to have to basically have a have the original throttle just kind of sitting there. And it would look pretty bad to have two throttles. So I just, I'm trying to, as of today, actually get something to work. So I only have to run a choke cable. Uh, this this I got from, uh, I mean, you can buy these online, but, and as, as you can see, I already beat it up. But uh, it's a push to stop, so I guess it's for a diesel, because uh, I guess when you cut off the fuel on one of those, that's how you stop them. <laughs> so, so there's that. Uh, you know, I'll probably, I don't really like this knob, I'll probably just like melt it off or something and 3D print like a yellow knob to match the John Deere kind of thing like you can see the PTO switches that that yellow color so I may get like one of those or a 3d print one or something so uh, this seems to be a, a decently solid piece of hardware uh, so I'm going to use it for a choke I get it at farm home supply you can buy these anywhere you can buy them in chrome or black or whatever the hell you want uh, I just put a little bend on there I just gotta it comes straight actually which is nice I just gotta drill a hole in the dash and uh run it to right right here and it kind of kind of goes something like like that 
Uh, it'll, it's kind of tight. I might have to widen out that notch. It's not really made for this one. Uh, it basically just does that, and you know, you can actuate your choke, and you, you get the idea, I guess, right? So, that's pretty simple. That's probably going to be the easiest thing of all this, uh, because this, oh, sorry, uh, this tractor was not made for this engine at all. I had to even draw out the holes on the frame, I forgot to mention that. The, uh, bolt holes, there were already holes for this side, for this pattern of engine block. Uh, that, that one is slightly smaller, but as you can see, like, you can probably see that one hole down there that's, yeah, right there. That's actually, uh, or the original hole for the Kawasaki. And yeah, I know it looks like there's leaking oil down there, but there actually isn't. Uh, it's just, I didn't clean it off when I put the new gasket in. I should have done that, but oh well. I think it is kind of leaking out of there. Might just have to replace these. I do need to get an air cleaner, that's one thing. Uh, but this video is already 11 minutes. So I think all the other stuff I've mentioned, I think I got it about everything out of the way. So I think uh, until next time, uh, I'll just keep plugging away at this and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.